Okay. Am um, I still going or? Yeah, yeah. What do you what do you do? So you just killed him. Um there's that secret door. Door sounds inviting, but it feels oh, like a trap. I should also mention in yes. the back of this cavern, you just see like a ton of skeletons of all shapes and sizes. Mm-hmm. Just like bones all over the ground. Does the goblin have anything on him? Uh, he had Money a loin, or... he had a loincloth and like an iron shank and a torch. The torch. Uh, can I take both of them or the the both. dagger and the torch? Mm-hmm. How much do they weigh? Uh, the torch has zero weight. The dagger has one weight. Yeah, I think I can actually. So it was an iron, an iron dagger, uh, one weight, and I'm gonna take the torch. Is it is is it like one of those like old like sort of uh, wooden stick with flame on the end sort of torch? Yeah. and okay. I should mention the dagger is less of a dagger, more of a shank. It's an iron shank and does minus one damage. And has the uh, hand tag. I'm going to take it anyway. Well, I do feel like... You, uh, you know what? He's he he's going to go into... You know that door? Mm-hmm. He's going to go in. Okay. Um, let's cut to Tom. Yes. So, Tom, you made it to the west side of the cliff, and you just fall and smack and blam. You're on the west side. What do you do? Okay, I'm on the west side. Welp! Tom is gonna have to get over there to the right east side somehow. Mm. Uh Uh-huh. Actually, Tom thinking, okay, maybe if I just leap over there, I'll I'll make it. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Whoops. Whoops. Map. What? Map! Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a little bit of the... Uh, can we not just redraw a little no, bit? No, cause... hold on. I didn't delete it. One second. Oh. Alright, all right. so you want to, like, jump over there? Yeah, he's got to try to jump over there. So, you know, cool. hoping for a later man. So, yeah, he's cool. just going to jump. Yeah, cool. Uh, do you believe you can jump that? Of course he believes that. Cool. Then you just jump it. Uh, uh cool. roll, roll plus stacks to see if you get where you want to go. Yeah, yeah. You roll, no problem, and you land just like smack on top of the igloo. Oh! Beautiful. Um, so as he lands on it, you, you, um, the igloo kind of shakes a little, and like a chunk of ice falls into your cauldron. <laughs> no, Lara Fleece just goes. This is uh, Lara Fleece is just kind of considering. Hmm. Would okay. more water be a bad thing? Uh, Ryota, what do you do? It looks like no one's paying attention to you. All right. <laughs> so since I'm still at the south side. Uh... I'm I'm the one holding the torch. Can I peer into the hole? Sure, yeah. It's more like a, like a crevice, you know, where like um two sides of a cliff are really close together and you might be able to squeeze your way through, but it'll be difficult. Um you see it it goes on for a little bit and then it seems to open up. I guess I'm just going to try and squeeze my way through. Okay, cool. Uh roll plus Dex, that makes sense. Right. Oh, drew that on the GM level. One second. Cool, yeah. You're able to squeeze through, no problem. So it's probably like really tight and then it like opens up. Hmm. Ooh, 13. I was looking cool. away, sorry. Yeah, so you you squeeze through no problem. 
Uh, on the other side, let's roll some d12s. All of us? No, just just okay. Ryota. Uh, d12 is a 10. Okay. Let's see, what does that mean? What does that mean? Oh. Roll another d12. Eleven. With another d12. Nice. Six. six. This means it's getting okay. worse at it together. So, let's. It's time to roll a bunch more d12s. Uh, roll a d12. Hmm. Uh, roll two more d12s. Okay. Roll <laughs> twelve. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, we are? Oh. Uh, okay. <clears throat> you come face to face Sorry. with this enormous red scaled old dragon. <sighs> That is just like lying coiled around this enormous treasure pile. Ooh. And it doesn't immediately, it, it actually, it is completely aware of you. Its head turns and just stares at you. <laughs> this fucking. Are we, have, we found, have we found Smog or something? Are we going to see like a dwarf, like mountain home where he's sleeping in some pile of gold? This sounds fascinating. Wish I was on his side. Um, do I see any exits nearby? Uh, actually, hold on. We need to, we need to roll some details about this dragon. Because, you know, we love D12s, so let's give it some more. Um, so let's see. We know what it's... Roll a D12. Oh. Oh. Well, that's... Hmm, Is he boned? Not good for you. Uh, roll a d12. Oh, God. <laughs> roll a d12. This is fun. This is all fun. Liz. Uh, okay, that's please, not bad. Die. Um, and then roll a... Roll a roll another D twelve. Jesus. Okay. So you have come across this old ass looking red dragon, and he's his eyes are dark are like darting Jesus around. Jesus Christ. Sorry. He's riding a motorcycle. No, no! <laughs> so yeah, this old-ass dragon, red dragon, is like looking at you. He has, and his mouth is kind of like drooling, and he, he like sticks his tongue out a little bit, and he looks at you and says, uh, Ah, my first meal in ages. It's oh, God, an honor to meet you. What do you do? Uh, probably shit my pants, but... I'm, I'm sorry about that, so I don't mean... <laughs> like I said before, is there any exits? Um, there's probably one past the dragon, and the little like, chasm you squeeze through. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna take my chance. I know this is really bad, but I'm gonna try to squeeze back through the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, roll. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fail this. I know it. Oh no! All right, one Does second. Does that count as a fail roll or? No, that's technically not a failure. Just let me go find the stats for a dragon. A dragon. 
dragon. Holy fuck. He's dead. All right. So you start to squeeze through the wall, but he is faster than you, and he manages to like <laughs> snap at you. The dragon looks friendly. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Who drew that? Oh, wait, you said he's old. Uh, let me see. Does this work? Hello? No, it doesn't work. No, 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 I'm not giving him a fucking food machine. <laughs> hey, Snake, do you know how to roll the best of something? Does anyone know how to roll the best of something? Yeah, how to do it. Like, um, like take the best or worst. <laughs> oh, okay. Congratulations, you rolled a hundred. <laughs> when? I mean, yeah, he did do it. Oh, that that is uh, that a beard? Yeah, he's old. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, you take uh, fifteen damage oh. as he snaps at your leg. Oh. Do I at least make it through the hole? Uh, how much health do you have? I have five health left. Oh, after the 15 damage? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, he, I think he... we should ask how much makes it through the hole, as in how much of you. Oh, actually, you're right. He has the... The dragon gets the messy tag, so he rips your leg off. <laughs> Rip what? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, my God! Yeah. Is he dead? No. So, so you managed to do what was that? What's that movie where James Franco has to like lose a limb because he's stuck oh, in something? Oh, uh, uh, 120 uh, hours or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 120 oh, hours. hours. Okay. So yeah, he loses so you, a leg. You lose your oh, leg. Oh. <laughs> nope, leg. This dragon oh. rips your leg off, but you're able Wait. to squeeze back through the hole. Get a robot <laughs> leg. Get a robot leg. It's okay, I'll just make a new potion. Potion of leg <laughs> regeneration. <laughs> I'll make it out of igloo. Well, my oh. healing potions can cure one debility, so... This is the movie that they didn't tell you about. He actually <laughs> trapped his arm because of a dragon. Yeah. As Ryoto leaves, can the dragon yell out, <laughs> Fuck you, I'm a dragon. Yes, the dragon says... He gets angry and says, Fuck you, you're my... Dinner, come back. I'm a dragon. I am yeah. an old dragon. Is there, li is there no way the dragon could like get out of there, or is he only in that little like cave in sort of area? This is, oh. He's pretty skinny for a dragon, so we'll just we'll just move this around. I changed my bio. I like that. That's a little cool, uh, cute little dragon pick. He's like a big lizard. There we go. Wings there we go. Beard. I added it. <laughs> Cool. So you are now the legless. Yeah, you are legoless. <laughs> <laughs> he got one leg. <laughs> he got one leg. So, yeah. ooh, all right then. so, so you make it out onto the other side, <laughs> but you've yeah, like I said, you've lost your leg. You're not doing too well. You have five hit points left. That's stuck in this fucking ca chasm. <laughs> is there a list of things that you can pull out of your adventuring pack? Uh, any kind of normal item. So, like, if you wanted to say, <laughs> oh, I pull out, like, medical supplies to make sure I don't bleed out, sure. I think a replacement leg <laughs> legs are pretty common. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe I can find something in my uh, bag on my little... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Most people totally have at least true. two of them. All right, I'm going to take out some medical supplies to make sure I don't bleed to death. <laughs> Yeah, so, cool. <laughs> so is my potion done yet? Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll say at this time your potion. Okay, so uh, you, you oh, can oh, fuck wait, me with on. four. You can fuck me with four. Uh, up to four tags. So all of you hear, um, this enormous loud like roar. It like shakes the cavern. Cool. Oh dear! Don't tell me I fall off because I'm too, too close to focusing it. on. Well, at this point, shouldn't you be in the igloo with me, annoying me? 
No one outside. Okay, okay yeah, I'm, I'm, in like I'm going in. I'm in, the, I'm in the igloo. What's Don't that? Way going further down the chasm? You know, I can help you. Uh, nearly done. All right. Uh, I think they're done. They're done. They're done. All right. So, Austin, you got you can you can uh, fuck me with up to four tags, but please. Uh, okay, so that's the the cauldrons what? brew and potions bubble move. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It, it's on my character sheet. Between There's uh, we'll give one, you one to four of the following effects. Yeah. Um, it's volatile. All right. And it tastes horrible. Ah, oh, beautiful. I, I, I fucking knew you were going to make it taste horrible. That's what I expected. <laughs> beautiful. Okay. So if, it'll explode if I treat it roughly. All right. So, okay, I've got Tom with me. So I, I, I uh, take my three potion doses and I stuff them in my uh, in a very special part of my robes, you know, where, where I keep my potions, keep them safe. And I get on my broomstick and I tell Tom, you wait here. In the igloo. All right. Okay. Where are you going? I'm going to go see if I can help our comrades. Uh, oh. Let's see. Okay, there are, uh, I'll stay you, in it. Okay, you can stay here. There are, uh, there are games here. Yeah, there are games. Sure. Um, you just going to say... You, you can... Uh, yeah, you I'm see just... that yellow snow in that little corner there? It's, it's, it's tasty. Eat it. Oh. All right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. got Tom oh, wait. Tom, Tom as he turns around. Is the, it, you got a pot there. Tom knocks it over. <laughs> wait, hold on. So, so um, Tom, you're gullible. Yeah. So you totally believe that yellow snow is tasty. <laughs> oh, man. That's tasty. Thank you. So you should, you should probably roll plus wisdom. Yeah, I, I, I packed in, up wait. my cauldron. It's, ac it's actually in... No, no, wait, no, 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 <laughs> so you're eating the snow, and you're like, "Wow, this tastes this tastes bad." But maybe if I put he <laughs> he left his cauldron there. Okay, maybe fine. I put the snow in this cauldron and perhaps add some other stuff. A little bit of that. Um, what more is here? What is there anything that I can use to throw in a, in this potion thing? <laughs> uh, there's. I don't think he left <laughs> anything. Okay. It's just the rest okay. of your gear. So, like, if you actually, can I look outside? Your, uh... Do I see any? Do I see anything like growing? Do I see some mushrooms <laughs> or shit in the no. cupboard? What? No, do I see some... no, there's nothing else out here. The only thing you have is yellow snow, a cauldron, and whatever your gear is. For example, hmm. a magical white rose. Um, ah, I'll try this magical white rose. I'll put it in here, stir it up. So are right. we just saying that the cauldron itself is magical? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so we are, hold on, we're going to cut. We're going to take a sharp cut to uh, Beldrig. Well, I'm flying Beldrig. over to Beldrig at the moment. So oh, well, well, we're, doing a, we're going back to the time a little bit. Okay. So, so Beldrig, you're, you're opening the door. Yes. All right. <laughs> Yes, Luigi. Uh, I'm opening the door. I, I, I have my torch held up high. Is it dark? Uh, yeah, it's kind of dark. Hold on. I need you to roll something, though. Gotta find it. Gotta find it. Where is it? Where be it? Here we go. Roll, uh, roll 2d6. So we got to use the lower, so it's three. Okay. Uh, roll four d ten. Congratulations. So you you open up the small like 
hole in the wall and you notice you find like a like a sleeping bag like a bedroll uh there's like a candle a small wooden desk and on top of the desk is like a small journal and uh, like 19 coins scattered around i'll take those do you want to like flip through the journal or anything no i'm, I'm done I'm okay so yeah like as as you're picking up the coins you hear this like enormous roar come from the behind you and before you know it uh f- fucking lafries frafries larfleas larfleas um is like outside of your door looking for you in the journal Sorry. you want to look in the journal yeah, I, w- I was. I was. I was joking about. Uh, okay. I was going to pick up the coins and look in the journal. I'm not... Okay. Um. So yeah, like Laura Fleas is outside your door. You're flipping through the journal. Uh, it's all written in like a poor kid's handwriting, but it's like um, day ninety seven. Some idiot fell down hole. I killed with dagger. Got food. Day one hundred and thirty four. A rat fell down the chasm and suffocated under the crystal. That's dinner for tonight. And, you know, it just keeps, like, rambling on and on about random things found. And then it's, like, and then you hear, or you read, like, day 158. Made it through, uh, made it through chasm. Stole coin from dragon. Is, is angry. Simplicity of this journal makes my nephew's education look like genius work. Yo, Hobbit, you around here? Yeah. <laughs> Is there uh, nothing else of value in this little nope. uh, hidey hole? So, so this is basically just his home. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hello. Well, I guess I. Well, I got money, so uh, I, I I will exit the hidey hole. Oh, there right, right, you cool. are. What? Oh, uh, hey, 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 witch. I, I, I found one of your cousins, and he points to the corpse of the oh. goblin. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I forget your name. You never told me your name. But anyway, we need to get back to that ledge. Everybody forgets my name. Now, personally, I don't want your smelly ass on my broom. So I made you this, and I take out uh, a rocket potion. Now then, we're going to need to take you back to where gravity gets all fucky. So, come on, follow me. I, if you say so. So we make our way back to gravity. I was just waiting for him to start floating again. Whee! Yeah, yeah, he, he starts <laughs> floating pretty quickly. And I, I say, all right, all right, I need, I need you to look back towards that hidey hole there. Uh, uh, why, why, why do I need that? Well, you're gonna take a swig of this, and when you do, you're gonna be burping uncontrollably, but you're gonna be able to propel yourself with those burps, and I'm gonna want you to angle yourself to get up to that ledge over there, what with the ice. Oh, so it's like when you go to the, the inn, and then you Basically. Have... Ah, well, that makes so much sense. Why didn't you say so before? He just takes it. <laughs> All right, yeah, I, 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 I give him, uh, I, I, I give him uh, the rocket potion, and I say good luck and fly to safety <laughs> back to the ledge. Okay, yeah. Do you drink it? Felt like he was, he might be fooling with me, but this does. <sighs> smell like a drink I once had, so I'm gonna drink it. He looks onto the uh, the hidey hole and uh, takes a full swig of it. Okay. He downs the whole thing. Almost immediately you just feel like your stomach rumbling. Like it's super upset and it this thing tastes absolutely god awful. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Feels like he's going to throw up. So, yeah. So, you're facing the hidey hole? Yep. Yeah. So, in a, in like in like 10 seconds, this enormous like burp just erupts from you. And it propels you backwards. 
and you bump into Ryota, who's like lying on the ground, like patching up this stump where his leg used to be. Oh, oh, uh, hi there. Uh, I'm back. Uh, wait, didn't you used to have an, another leg? Uh, maybe. Oh. <laughs> how, how, how did he get himself to Ryota? He stared at, he looked up, he looked north, and then belched north, so he flew south. God, how far did, how how powerful did I make it? How far did he fly? I mean, he flew from, like, let me get the, uh, he flew, like, all the way. I have a question. Is it because I downed the whole thing? No, I mean, that would have happened no matter what, but it's, okay. you went south because you looked north. My st stomach is killing me. Uh, oh, oh. you're gonna be okay there. As he looks to Ryota. Oh, yeah, uh, Ryota, you got bandages, like a single use of bandages from your adventuring gear. So just give yourself uh, an additional 4 HP. Hey. Well, he's going to be hopping around now, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, dear. At least not for this gravity pit, but yeah, aside from that. Well, you, you, you can lean on me if you need to. As I feel like, in the high schemes of things, I was the one who brought you into all this, so uh, I'm sorry for that. So wait, which one is... um? Eldrig's not one of the midgets, right? Yeah, he's a dwarf. Oh, no, he's a dwarf? Too. Yeah. Well, I don't think I'd be able to lean on him. Well, when we get up, you'd be able to lean on him. You know? uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm... I mean, you, you're basically like have your arm all the way down and it finally hits his shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, um, so what's the plan? I'm pretty strong, so I could just give him like a piggyback or something. Um, hmm. So, uh, um, so Beldrick, you feel you, you feel your stomach rumbling again. Oh, oh, oh! Hold on to me. I feel, I feel the wind coming back. All right. What direction do you look? I tell him to not face north. What if I looked downwards west, sort of down west corner? So, so you want to go southwest? Y yes. Uh, hang on. Yes. Where's that pointer? So if I'm doing this, yeah. surely I'd be going that way. And if I'm looking exactly. down southwest, You'll go I'm up. going upwards. Yeah. So so this enormous belch erupts from him. Um, you take his hand, and both of you fly through the like anti gravity zone, and land on the uh, upper cliff. Um, let's cut back to Tom. So Tom, you throw okay. the magic pedal in there with the yellow snow. Okay, I feel I'm very out of my own depth. Yeah. Like, so let's see. Roll it. Oh nice. boy. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Uh, okay. So, uh, choose two. <laughs> okay, I get one calamity, and I don't cause permanent damage. Perfect. So, so you mix in your magic rose petal for your magic white rose with this yellow snow, and suddenly, like, this cauldron starts to shake back and forth, and it starts to bubble. And you're like, oh god, oh god. Oh dear. And suddenly, suddenly there's this like enormous plume of smoke that erupts from it. And suddenly a small like snowman hops out from it and just like slides oh. across the ground to you. Oh dear, I created oh, life! Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, you now have a snowman familiar. My Beautiful. son! <laughs> Oh wow! Uh, he the this, this, this snowman uses his like he makes a, a small hand out of um, snow, and he holds it in front of you, 
and makes this yellow like dripping snowball and just throws it at you. No, son. Stop it. Yeah, you get hit by this yellow snowball and it just like slides down and smells terrible. Son, you're not allowed to Wait, do Wait, is he just like some sort of big <laughs> yellow snowball sensor? No, this thing's like two foot tall. Oh, okay. <laughs> two foot tall piss smell. <laughs> <laughs> but is he piss colored? Um, you see, like parts of him are, but he seems to be able to control it. Like he he moves it like into the snowball <laughs> he made that he threw. Wow. Oh, so he's gotten rid of his piss? No, no, no. You see, like more forms out of his leg. Like oh, he is a hundred percent in control. He is uh, a so, frozen Tom, piss Tom, elemental. Tom is like part of him is made out of piss now. Yes. Tom is like. My son. <laughs> okay, so, so just so this could be as much a surprise for me, uh, I've I've actually decided that I saw uh, Beldrick like angle his jump wrong, so I flew towards him, and I flew to fly. To, I'm flying towards him and Ryota. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so as I get to them. I think, oh my god, you misangled. Oh, hey, you got uh, the, 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 uh, that guy with you. <laughs> Mr. One a, Leg. He's missing a leg. Yeah. Wait, oh, so, uh, hang on, Neo, did you plan for me to do this so that that way I'd get a uh, Ryota? No, I, I didn't. Oh, were you just oh, fucking. I, I fly towards you and I'm like, all right, so, Beldrig, you didn't angle that right. I'm gonna need to take you- I'm gonna need to have both of you take a swig of these last two potions. Ow. <laughs> but I'm gonna need you to pre-angle yourself. Look to the direct opposite end of that ledge that there, over with the ice. See it? So wait, who took the health potions? Oh, they're not. They're not health potions. Uh, rocket potions. So I say, all right, uh, one leg and uh, Hobbit man. I I don't really trust what you're saying. To Listen, do you want to get back with the group or not? Wait, I thought we were though. No, no. Tom's up by the ledge, so I need both of you to listen to me. I wasn't talking in character. I was saying I thought like that. The, the when I angled myself, I thought we finally flew back onto the ledge, we're or right we right. still going up the ca chasm. Yeah, yeah, we're over at the south end right now. So I need you to look. All right. Uh, oh wait, no, 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 no so he can be oh. there for with you guys. Oh, all right then. Okay. So wait, they, they are at the they are at the ledge. Yeah, they had made it to the igloo. Yeah, that's why. I was oh, okay, 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 no, okay, okay. Why are we doing I that? Say... I you, I think you had said he had flown south. All right, so I, we don't we have no need. Wait, how did Ryota get up there? He I held on to him. All right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And so uh... at this point, I will say Tom is actually storming out of it. It's like, guys. I have a son. And what? He, he he lifts up this like small snowman that's got like yellow parts of him. And he, oh, the yellow the part is like do? tripping. He his name is his name is his name is gonna be Samuel Thomas Thompson. Give it a name. Oh God! Warfleece right, rushes in to see if his cauldron's okay. <laughs> I use your cauldron. All right, oh, I, I I put uh, the cauldron uh, into my hammer space. The <laughs> fuck did you do? Well, you, I tasted the snow, but it didn't f taste good. So I threw it in there, and I thought maybe a rose, this rose I've had, would take make it taste good. And Why would you touch this thing? It's mine, and it's dangerous. Well, you know, you weren't there. It's just a cauldron. Ever again. Okay. All right, cool. So, uh, what do you guys want to do? You're all pretty badly injured. I was missing a leg. Badly injured. Yes. I healed myself. I'm propping. Congratulations. Him. Uh, I'm propping Rio down uh, onto the floor. <laughs> 
It's there, there, Billy. <laughs> yeah, I, actually, no. Yeah, he's he, he's 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 no. Actually, hey, Mister Mister Ninja Sword, dude. Did you used to have a leg? Uh no. I take like this pretty calmly for losing a leg to a dragon. Just gonna say that. But wait, I can maybe help you. And he's gonna rummage through his bag of tr trinkets. Hey, hey, I found, I found it. <laughs> and he pulls out a wooden prosthetic leg. I knew, I traded a, I traded a, a sheep for this. Thought it would be handy. Fantastic. Like, you you strap it on. It fits like a glove. You now <laughs> have both legs. One is one. <laughs> yes. I can. I have a bag of. I have a bag of trinkets. So that's oh. um. That's one use of your bag. Yeah, I have three left. Wow. Okay then. Isn't that great? Look, Billy. <laughs> Billy is the snowman. I thought. Okay, I thought his name was Samuel. No, I think. Okay, it's Billy Samuel Thomas Thompson. Can't kill me. Oh, that's why you guys can't see it. There we go. <laughs> oh, Ryota's got a wooden, got a peg leg now. Yes, Ryota has a very well functioning wooden peg leg. It just thinks a bit. Samurai. It just I give, a bit. I give a thumbs up while gripping my leg and giving a forced <laughs> smile. Eldrick turns to Rio and is like, yeah, you know, I, I, I kind of feel really bad that I kind of was my fault that this all happened to you. So I found a lot of coins back there. So here, I have, I have seven coins on. I give him seven of my coins. Can I do that, Austin? Yeah. There, there you go, Rio. Seven, seven points. Pity change. What? <laughs> Seriously? What? He, All right. I mean, you're still Beltric. I, you know. I stash so, it in my. You lost, uh... you lost your leg. You get seven points. Oh, the the peg the the wood the prosthetic leg is hollow. You can put shit in there. Yeah, I stash it in my prosthetic <laughs> leg. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, you pull a knife out your leg. That's I I get up and the fucking prosthetic leg starts jingling. And here's a shank for you. Oh, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, Tom. Yeah. I think we need to mercy kill this thing. I say, no! looking at this elemental. No. He, he holds, but he holds Billy close. You're not <laughs> killing Billy. Probably stinks. Uh... <laughs> now, Billy. Just because your mother was a because your mother was a cauldron, it means you can't My be cauldron. <laughs> yes. So you're gonna have to live with daddy for a while. Fuck <laughs> this is <weird. laughs> We all I mean, we're all still standing and alive, aren't we? So we just keep going. <laughs> we have done nothing. Congratulations, Lorzio. <laughs> Maybe we can sell it. No, it's my son. Does the snowman make any noises? No. Well, sometimes it slushes around when Does it walks. Does it have a permanent smile? It has. doesn't have a face. Oh my god. <laughs> snowman doesn't have rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? Its, it's eyes are two little yellow circles. <laughs> and it melts. Give it a fucking carrot or something. I sadly don't have a carrot on me. Can it melt? Uh, you could try. No. <laughs> Ray, Ray, uh, uh, hey, hey, one leg. One leg, you got a torch, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah he's, he's I, am, a I have a torch. Hold your torch up to that thing. No! No, you're not taking him alive. So yeah, you you put your torch up next to it, and it like opens this. There's like a hole that forms in its head, and it just like gushes out this purple, like uh, yellow water, and it puts the torch out. 
Oh. Oh no. Good job, Billy. It's learned self defense. <laughs> Tom picks Shall up we... Billy. Shall we move on? It makes a yeah. snowball and throws it at Larfazzle. <laughs> ah! Please. Uh, this is perfect. <laughs> you can call it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you guys want to do now? Well, let's keep adventuring. <laughs> you just keep heading, keep heading east. Yeah. Alrighty then. I mean, we're still alive, so yeah. One of us missed a life, but yeah. I mean, we could return back. I mean, actually, Tom ha Tom has a child now. He can't go adventuring. He has to I find also... a stable job. <laughs> I informed the other uh, party members about the dragon. Nice. A dragon? Gee whiz. Guys, do you think my 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 family back in my village will appreciate my, their grandchild? All right, so if you want to keep heading east, let's make some rolls. <laughs> so we need someone to scout ahead. Someone needs to roll plus wisdom. They're taking point. I'll take point. I'm on my broom. Oh, oh okay. Oh, Beldrick, I, 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 I guess Beldrick decided he's over to take point. <laughs> he, he leaps ahead. Alright, um... Goth, you see that list <laughs> I pasted in Discord? Yes. 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 <laughs> no, no, you can't kill him. Uh, you need to pick two of those. Things that like, I pasted in, in Discord chat. So you want me to pick one of these or pick two? Uh, uh, the drop on anything that lies ahead. Okay. And Say, I'm gonna play it safe. You notice a sign of nearby danger. So, what is the danger? Hmm. Well, you don't get to ask me. You get to ask oh. the dice. I ask the dice. Dice. What is the danger? Uh, roll a d12. No, I'm asking the dice. It has to answer me. Yep, it will. A five. Roll a d12. And another d12. Ooh. hope this doesn't stab me in the ass. Okay. Um... Yeah, so you see the tunnel kind of curves a bit up ahead and splits into two paths. Uh, it looks like one of these paths is has a uh, trap in it. Hmm. Hmm. So, you know, it kind of goes like this. There's like, there's like a split. <laughs> Sweet. That's fine, man. There's a split in the roads. Uh huh. Right. And you you notice the south entrance has a uh a, actually the no the north entrance has a trap in it. Uh we need to now roll for who's navigating? Uh, I believe I am. No, 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 no. sorry, scouting. no, I'm not. I'm navigating. I'm scouting, yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll navigate. Okay, roll uh, uh, plus intelligence. Broom. What's it? A 12, yeah. Oh. Nice, 12. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. So, yeah, you you notice, both of you notice the trap. And you manage to go past it, no problem. Nice. Um, let's make a discovery. Uh, roll a d12. Let's figure out what kind of discovery it is. Uh -huh. Nope, just you. You're navigating. Okay. Alrighty. D12? Mm-hmm. 
a five. Uh, all right. Ooh, interesting. Uh, roll a d12. And then another. 11. You come across a path of, uh, of blood, actually. It Ooh. looks old and it's dry, but there's definitely a trail of, of blood. So let's see, this path kind of goes like up and around and then it curves a little, you know, up and around. It kind of opens up maybe. Kind of, you know, there's like another split. And, and there's like a trail of blood going on the walls kind of like this way. Hey guys, want to be idiots and follow this trail of blood? Oh, Sure, it can't be anything bad. Yeah. Uh, 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 bad. I don't I don't know. It feels like there might be something lying ahead of you. Are we, are you sure about this? Well, if anything if, if anything comes across us that we don't want to handle, we have a very quick way out, I say, motioning to the rocket potions. <sighs> Jesus. Would I still get the drop on whatever lies ahead, or have I already done that? Uh, sure. No, right. if, as long as you keep scouting. Go forward! Go well, well, you know what? We made it this far, and we're still not dead, so sure, let's go. And he leads on. Okay. Um, In the direction he said. Whoever he is leading. Me. Let's, uh... Roll a d12. On 12. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So, uh, actually, I need to make this bigger somehow. I made the mistake of going north. Maybe bring this map down towards the bottom a little bit? Or yeah, I'm going to. Going on? What's going on? I'm just moving the map. One second. Are you the one who's only drawing the map, or...? I've pretty much just been drawing the map. People are drawing goofy shit in it. <laughs> Which is fine by me. Alright, let's move it. Let's move it all the way down here. There we go. That's plenty of room. Perfect. So we're heading north, I think. So let's see, you rolled a twelve. Yes. Uh, roll a d12. And a, another d12. Alright. Okay. We'll make this real fucking interesting. Boy. You come across this in so this trail of blood leads you to this whoops. What happened to the map? Oh, it's down here. This trail of blood leads you to this like very large just spanning cav like entranceway. And you notice that there's like a uh, a stone walkway, like Somebody built a stone bridge over this chasm. And yeah, and there's like another chasm underneath of it. The chasm, Jesus. Hmm, a bridge and a trail of blood. Hey, you wish. Oh, well. Um, and let's see. Oh, gang. Looks like we've got another mystery on our hands. Across, immediately across from this bridge. 
<laughs> is this in it kind of, yeah kind of does is this enormous wooden door so we got a bridge and then on the other side oh, of the bridge just, is a door just spanning mm -hmm. this entire thing this yeah. one giant door god damn. well it's at the yeah yeah wait the bridge is made out of a door or there's uh yeah hold on i drew this poorly So like there's this crazy chasm, but the chasm kind of like ends like here. And there's just this enormous wooden door. Hmm. So a bridge and then a door on the other side. And then there was a trail of blood leading to the bridge. Does the blood continue going on over the bridge? Actually, it's curious. You notice the blood goes over the chasm. Hmm. Interesting. So, like, it starts and it stops, and then you notice, like, the blood down there. It's the bridge rickety? No. It is, like, an ornate stone bridge. Looks Ooh. very strong. Okay, I was imagining wood. Interesting. Well, what who's you... going first? Well, I, I, you're the one with the broom, so if you float over, nothing bad would happen, right? Yeah, I still think you should go first. Well, kind of no. logically here, I, I, I feel if anything happens, you'd be okay, right? Oh, what, are you scared? Oh, no, I'm just, I, I'm just thinking that between all of us, we're not gonna, we, we probably wouldn't want to lose any more legs. All right, Larfleeze concedes, and he just floats across. Yeah, cool. So you make it to this enormous wooden door. And now I just park my broom, and I wait impatiently. Well, <sighs> all right then. So we're all going over then. Here I go. Totally not stalling or anything. Okay, I'll go. He's gone. He's gone. Die. Start walking. I yeah, mean, you know, I was kind of hoping you'd float over and have a look at the chasm. Maybe nothing bad, but all right. I guess I'm going over. You can make it over the bridge, no problem. Like this is a this is a massive bridge. Oh, okay then. <laughs> I'm so scared of this game. And yeah, uh, you, you make it across this like enormous, like fifteen foot wooden door. It's like arched door too, and it's perfectly fitted into the cavern. Ooh. You notice like the walkway up to the door is also this like ornate looking stonework. Do we recognize this door? Mm, maybe we'll, uh, can I use discern we'll realities? Yes. Yeah, yeah, well first let's have uh let's have Beldrig spout some lore. Eight. That's a six. Oh sorry, six. So no, you don't know anything, but mark experience. Alright, so Ryota, you want to uh, discern realities? I guess that's one question. Yeah, just ask me one. All right. All right. Um... What should I be on the lookout for? Mm, you notice the bloody trail like leading to the bottom of the cavern. I would make sure there's nothing crawling up it or maybe coming out of it to at you. But otherwise, this place looks fairly safe. All right. Uh, so, so what do you guys do? I guess I peer over the bridge and look down. Would yeah. I be able to even see down there? 
I guess. No, it is like pitch black down there. All right, I guess I do that anyways. Yeah, you don't see anything. Uh, actually, make a uh, just make an intelligence check. Nope, you don't see anything. Nope, mark XP. Yeah. All right, so what do you guys do? You're at the entrance to this massive wooden door. All the stonework around it has been engraved or ornate, and there's like a statue on either side of the door. This is a very expensive looking bridge. We should well, knock. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Like, logically, let's, I think knock. Let's not be rude. So I get my club, and since it's a big door, I decide to knock, shave, and a haircut. Club. Knock, shave, and a haircut. Knock, shave, and a haircut. I, I, I don't get this. You know. No, I don't actually. Oh, okay. He's using a skill. Yep. No, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna complete it for you. I'm just gonna do that. Yeah. Okay. You, you knock. Do, 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 do. There's, there's no response. Hmm. No, you, there's nothing coming from the other side. Is there a doorbell? Uh, nope. <laughs> no doorbell. Just a, just a, uh, a big, like, rope, and you pull it. Mm. <laughs> I, I, he, a Beldrick attempts to push the door open. Um, no, it doesn't budge. All the throws out his back. Wait, guys, I have my hammer! I'll knock the door in with it. Okay. Come on. Yeah, is there one of those little oh. thing sort of things? God damn it. Would it be really far up? Yeah, actually, there is, and it is really far up. Oh. Uh, Tom, you you break the uh, thing that's binding the hammer to the second oh, hammer. Oh, no! So now you My have double... two hammers. My double hammer! Okay, uh, I, I, I fly up to the metal thing. Oh, also, uh, right. and, and got... I... I... I, I test on pulling oh. it down. Like, ha, 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 is it is it unfeasible for me? Uh, no. Like, you can like uh, make a strength check. You can make a strength check. Also, uh, I got the next calamity from that. No. Nope. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Uh, no. You you can't even lift it. <sighs> All right. Uh, I uh decide I'm going to uh. Swallow my pride, and I'm going, and I fly down to uh, Beldrig, and I say, "Hey, uh, do you think you could get on this thing with me and try and knock that yourself?" Well, I, 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 on the broomstick, I mean. He uh, sheepishly oh like just starts getting onto the broom with you. Yeah, I'm allowed one passenger, so we're good. Cool. All right, I fly him up. All right, then. I guess I'll give it a knock. Strength. Yeah, there you go. You, you're you able to lift this enormous-looking um, yeah, old muscle. metal door knocker. Oh, um, yeah, you notice all, like carved into this door knocker is a... Uh, is just this it's finely detailed bunch of stones, maybe like, a, like an image of a moon. But everything on it, it seems upside down. What? And you you lift up this enormous door knocker. Uh, will you roll an intelligence check? Also, Me? yeah. Actually, okay. before you roll, I'm gonna I'm gonna use calamity. You give plus one to that. Okay, so that's a nine. So I'm using a cool. Two. Uh, you notice on the ends like a where the door knocker is going to impact the door is this um strange looking metal plate it's like odd it's different color than the rest of the knocker and it's going to impact what looks like a gem on the door knocker 
Do you do you just let it go and you knock on the door? Yeah. I want to cool. knock. Yeah. So yeah, you, you you let it go and this plate smacks the gym and it shatters. And there is this very loud like dong. Hang on, do echoes do my cavern. companions get rained on with like gems or I mean, no, it's, it's basically like sand at this point. It got crushed oh. so hard. But I mean, the the for those at the base of the door, you yeah, you see this thing shatter and like small particles start floating down through the air at you. Oh no! But small yeah, there's this there's this loud like dong sounds, and then there's like creaking as the door starts opening towards you. Like it splits open towards you. Oh, oh jeez, oh jeez, witch! We we need to. It's opening. What? Oh, okay. Uh, I fly him. I I fly him down. I fall off your broom. Oh. Zoo. Um. What do you do? Well, we wait and see who answers. Uh, on the other side of the door, there's nothing. It's empty. Uh, Tom looks in and says, "Hello." Yeah, on the other side, you notice this perfectly carved and crafted hallway. It's like as straight and square as possible. Well, like cartoon characters are just sort of leaning in and peeking around. <sighs> is it a big hallway? Yes, it is a big hallway fitting the size of the big doors. Nice. Is everything inside to proportion as well? It's pretty much, yeah. It's oh, massive. Man. And I... just ornate stone hallway. Well, this is either the dragon's home, or it's a giant's home. I'm going with one of those. Do you want nice. to have a look in? Yeah, let's go. Might as well. We came all this way, so... You guys don't have any objections, Swede? No. Tom's... Oh. Tom does not agree. I uh, have no disagreements, but he does hold his son tightly. His cold, cold son. <laughs> <laughs> I sigh and agree to continue forward. I'll go, I'll With the rattling legs. <laughs> Alright. So I think we're going to end it here after okay. I describe what you guys find. But um, you follow this path and you notice this enormous castle just there's this castle there's this bright spire but you notice this castle is built into the ceiling like it's completely upside down like the gate is upside down the turrets are upside down everything is upside down and you notice a second bridge that leads to like the area of the castle and this bridge seems to like twist so that way it's like right side up and then suddenly it's upside down um, you look over the bridge, there's this massive cliff, you look over it, and down below, you just see, like, space. You see, like, twinkling stars, and maybe, like, you see, like, a moon. Oh, gee whiz! That's odd. It's like a Salvador Dali painting or something. It's space room! Ride. Jesus. Yeah. Um, this is a mystery. I think we'll cut it there. All right. So All right, then. let's do oh. some. So will our characters stuff. return XP. back to the thing, or? Yeah, you'll you'll return to the entrance. Uh, okay. We'll return back to Inkwick. Um, I guess someone has to draw in the space room. Yeah, I'll I'll draw it in. Uh, I kind of know what I want to. Yes, a question. Back. Will Will Billy melt? No, Billy is your eternal piss elemental, frozen Perfect. piss elemental. It, um, yeah, perfect. Let's do let's do some end of session. Uh, everyone, mark an XP for bonds because fuck bonds. Um, oh, let's see. XP for bonds. Did anyone complete their alignment? I don't think so. No. no I don't um, think a fight. My mine is pr uh, validation proof to okay. someone that you have okay. some redeeming qualities. I I'm going to run this by you, Austin. My alignment well, well, first, is... well, first, let's do uh, let's do Tom's. So, huh. does anyone believe Tom has any redeeming qualities? Like that dude didn't 
really do anything useful. Marshall, he he does. got like he, he got, got the like, a, a statue falling on him. He did make the piss elemental, which is kind of cool. Yeah, no, well, and Marshall, he gave he did not see any value in any of this. And he gave Ryota a leg. Yeah, he gave me a leg. That's true. Okay, yes. yeah, sure. Take an XP for that. Nice. Uh, did anyone else complete their alignment? Okay, I want to run this by you. My alignment is the unfettered power of magic. Use magic to cause fear or panic. No, that cauldron that gave birth to that horrifying thing is technically <laughs> mine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you terrified of it? I am. Mark an XP. Nice. But we have to remember that you are now terrified of Tom's piss element. <laughs> <laughs> it's causing panic to me, not fear. I feel like um, I've created an abomination. Anyone else complete their alignment? No, I don't think so. All right. Nope. Did you learn something new and important? Yes. That's a trust cousins. I feel like we need to make that to did you make an important discovery? But yes, cool. so mark XP for that. I learned to run away from dragons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you overcome a notable monster or enemy? Yes. But did you Did... overcome the dragon? No. Yeah, you kind of got out of there. You got out of dodge without a leg. Our death toll is one goblin, so... And one, one leg. <laughs> so maybe not. And then, did you loot a memorable treasure? I got. 18. I got those four gems. Sure, that's and you 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 looted a piss elemental. That's good enough. So All mark right, an XP God, for God. that. And then everyone I, mark an XP for playing. Nice, I, I leveled up. I, I looted. Would you loot? I looted seven coins from a dwarf in quotations. <laughs> Perfect. I I well. Ryoda got injured because of my recklessness, so I'm going to make it up to him slowly. That's that I thought that would be my bond with him, or that I have made it up, up to him. Because oh, we're he not really like we're not him. really using bonds. Oh, okay, oh, well, I I put that down there just so I remember. Okay. Does me getting that that those coins in the hidey hole count as a treasure? Sure. Even if we're not doing bonds, I think I think Tom should have a bond with the piss elemental. Oh, I, I'm way ahead of you in that. Also, question: Is my torch just gone now? No, you can light it up again. Yes. <laughs> is the bandages gone? Yes, the bandages okay. have.